They'll run down the hill in one of the most storied entrances in all of college football. Death Valley, Clemson, South Carolina, home to the Tigers since 1945. And while today is the final home game of the season for one team, it is more importantly a celebration, Senior Day. As we'll see, the number 20 team in the country, the South Carolina Gamecocks, taking on the 23rd ranked team in the land, the Clemson Tigers. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Gamecocks offense will get the first possession of the game. This rivalry can fly under the radar from time to time, but trust me, the Gamecocks and Tigers do not like each other. No, and it doesn't fly under the radar to the people in South Carolina, because there's always a debate of Clemson versus South Carolina and bragging rights fully on the line. What's fun about this game is that someone gets to play spoiler. And in recent years, we've seen Clemson in the national championship picture late in the year. Regardless of what South Carolina's record is, they are trying to ruin Clemson's season. This crowd trying to make life miserable for this offense. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. Trying to pick up a first down. Deep in the season, that crisp air all around you and this feels like a must win game guys this is a game that will impact the college football playoff it'll have conference championship implications and it'll have bowl game implications as well david so much riding on the line in this one and you can feel it man you you can feel the energy the players this week they were on high like you could tell they were ready for the challenge this is going to be an absolute showdown he gets those chains moving, gets it out to the 42-yard line. Well, right away after picking up the first down, they go right back to their playmaker at running back, and I love the push they got up front, getting a hat on a hat, opening a huge hole for the back. And you become so hard to defend when you can run the football successfully on first down. You're starting like that. Now what opens up? Play action. Now you're making me play pass and run. This offense, if they can create that run, physicality now it opens up everything else they go to the ground he's knocked down in the backfield he'll lose a couple you know when you're playing against a defense of this caliber you're gonna have to have some sort of balance right you can't just drop back and throw it every single play nothing going on that last run they're gonna have to find another way to get it going hand in the ball after losing a couple on that last play here's second and 12 the give to the back putting together a threat now they get the first it's at the 37. well the offense knew what they needed to get that first down so they dial up the running play and they get just enough to keep the drive alive and the gamecocks will snap it on first and ten looking to pass it's sellers fires a ball now it's picked off not much of a chance on the return but they'll have the ball at the 33. Well, we knew coming into this one, this was an offense that wanted to come out, sling it around, but the timing is going to have to be a whole lot better. This defense has athletes who can close on the ball and make plays, and you saw it right there in that interception to open this game. First down for this offense. The inside handoff. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. Solid pick up a four on first down at second and six. The Tigers pulled out a close one the last time they saw their Palmetto State rivals. And Clemson, they were sleepwalking early in that game. They know when they play South Carolina, they're going to get their A-plus effort. They're going to have to take some haymakers, and they got to wake up in this one, day. I think it's tough late in the season, regardless when you play. The rivalry is deep. The hatred is deep. Even when seasons are out of touch for South Carolina, they can put an exclamation point by beating Clemson at the end of the year. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. These two guys, just on the same wavelength, they make clutch connections all the time. 
And that's practice, man. That's all summer. That's all spring. Just so many hundreds and hundreds and thousands of balls where you know exactly when that guy's going to break. You know he's a stud. You're going to feed him, especially on these third down situations. Listen, guys, this is one of the top ten passing offenses in the entire country. Maybe they're trying to catch the defense napping by going goal line and running the football. Not a lot of success on that last play. Hey, bud, get back to doing what you do best. Throw the ball. Some third down conversions tougher than others. This one, a long one on third down from the 43. The freshman able to get home with the sack. And that is how you silence this raucous crowd. Defensively on the road. First drive of the game, setting the tone, getting a huge sack on third down. So Clemson is lining up to punt this one away. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. On the move, it's Brown. He gets a block. Really explosive when he gets his hands on the ball, and he found a couple of crevices and made a nice game before being run out of bounds. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. Boy, they had that last drive moving a little bit, David, but then the mistake just crushed them. Yeah, and those mistakes are going to happen. You're going to throw the football, you're going to throw interceptions. But I think I stay aggressive with this offense. I get back to what I did in the first part of that drive, what made me successful. I agree, David. Just turn the page if you're a quarterback, right? On this drive, you did a lot of good things there leading up to that pick. Forget about it. Move on. Play the next play. They'll give it to the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Linebackers in today's football, obviously, guys have gotten smaller. they got to play in space more, cover fast guys out of the perimeter. How about this linebacker coming downhill and making a physical tackle in the hole? On third and short, they'll go to the power running game. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. The Gamecocks will call on their punt team. Boy, there wasn't much room to wiggle for that running back there. None at all. Great job by the defense getting in the backfield. Closing up all the holes. Nowhere to go. Clemson ready to dial up some ball plays. They've got it on offense. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. Don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. To the air on first down. Got his man downfield. All kinds of running room. Touchdown, Tigers. And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. And it feels good to land that first big punch against a rival, doesn't it? No doubt. In a game like this, too, you just want to be executing at a high level early. So, David, that's got to feel great getting on the board first. And settles everyone down. All the nerves, all the emotion of this rivalry game. Now everybody can kind of settle in because you know you already got a touchdown on the board. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. South Carolina ready to go on the attack in another offensive odyssey. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. He just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Back to throw, it's Sellers. Quick completion on the out. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. And now a fresh set of downs for this offense. Off the play fake on first down. Can't hang on, and he'll tell you he really should have made that catch, and he had an opportunity right in the middle. It'll be second down. 
This rivalry dates back to 1896. It's been a little bizarre with the chicken curse, and it's a bit unusual, too, because the state school, South Carolina, isn't the perennial football power. No, but it's kind of had its ebbs and flows a little bit back and forth. Some great coaches on both sides, but the in-state hate is beautiful. You know, there's a lot of great rivalries, especially down in the south and the deep south. This is one of the better ones, though, because you just never know what the outcome is going to be. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And the coverage team surrounding the ball. No chance for the return man to get in there on that one. Clemson has their paws on it, and they'll send out the offense. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. Let's see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. He'll do it himself. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. Nice job by the defense shutting down all the options. Making sure it wasn't easy to read. Nice job going to the quarterback, getting him on the ground. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Oh, they really could have used that catch there. Physical pass defense. It brings up a fourth down. Clemson will send the punt team out. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Makes a move. Great move there. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. They had to punt it away on their last possession, but man, what great field position this time. I mean, this is awesome. Like, last possession didn't go great. Now you're set up with an opportunity to get some points and start thinking about what plays I like, Jesse, as I cross the 50. There are a lot of offensive coordinators out there, David, and in this position, they like to take a shot right away and try and capitalize on this field position. And he unleashed the RPMs on that pass. Man, this sophomore has an arm. We've come to the end of the quarter, and Clemson has the lead. And we've come to the end of the first as we take a moment to check out the stats so far. They've swapped ends of the field, and we're ready to go in the second. Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. Back to throw, it's Sellers using the quick game. He gets it all the way down to the five-yard line. A terrific catch and run before he stops. Really nice job by the quarterback understanding I needed to throw this ball hard. Like, I got to fit it in there tight. And a nice job by the wide receiver wearing it because he really didn't have a choice because he was going to wear that one regardless. Looking for the score. Reels it in in the end zone. Touchdown, South Carolina. And coming into the game, you look at the stats and you say top 10 offense in scoring. So they better be able to create what? Explosive plays. Another explosive plays. They've been doing it all year long. Those plays are backbreakers. Defenses just can't contain this offense. And the extra point was good. And... It was good. It's even Steven here in the second quarter. After that latest answer tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. Coming out with it, it's Novak. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. Clemson ready to dial up some ball plays. They've got it on offense. Last time, David, it was 1-2-3 kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. And you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, Dave, too predictable that last drive. They got to do something here to get this defense on the field. This has been a staple of the offense in Clemson. Get those big receivers, let them make plays downfield, and it's been very effective over the years. 
Yeah, and good quarterback play obviously helps, but when you got good matchups on the outside, it kind of makes the defense very predictable. Like, I got to give help. Okay, it helps my running game. You don't give help. Okay, I'm throwing to my freak out wide. So I think these guys on the outside with all that speed definitely are a problem for defenses. One of the things I love about these misdirection type plays is that you can pull offensive linemen and get extra bodies at the point of attack. So you're setting yourself up with good angles if you execute it properly, David. You saw it. And saying the word angles means a lot because it's exactly what you do. Now I can block down and I can leave somebody unblocked, pull around, kick him out, use misdirection in the backfield. Really just get your eyes as a defense on something else and then go the other direction. Nice misdirection play call by this offense. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. The give to the back. There to stop him after a pickup of three. It's down to the 15. And sticking to the run. I'll tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn. And they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football. You can tell. He's got it on the run. He steps out of bounds, but it'll be enough to give them a first and goal. The offense threatening. Close to the end zone now with a new set of downs. Looking to throw, it's Klubnik. Makes the grab, and he will score. Touchdown, Clemson. Now that's the way to bail out the rest of the team. Start with bad field position, put together a drive anyway. And very confident. You can see the quarterback just had a bit of a swagger, Reese. He was like, look, all right, we're starting deep in our own end. Special teams didn't help us out, but we can fix that right now, fellas. And they went out and looked so good on that last drive. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. South Carolina ready to go on the attack in another offensive odyssey. Nice move there. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes a stop. What perfect execution on that big run. Everything perfectly blocked, and this guy doesn't need a lot of room. I love how this offensive line communicates and works up front. You see guys winning their one-on-one -on -one battles. There's double teams happening. Guys are getting into the second level and creating big lanes for this running back. And here comes the offense on second down. Give to the single back. There to stop him at the 43, but he gets five and moves the sticks. And the Gamecocks have it with a first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. He's got his man. Finds a crease at the 20. And he'll take it in and house it. Touchdown, Gamecocks. And that is just outstanding execution on that pass play. Great route by the receiver. Good timing on the throw by the QB. Receiver catches it in stride, turns on the Jets, and is gone. Lining up to add another. And it's up and good. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they close the deal from 43 yards out with a touchdown pass. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. Fielded in the end zone. It's Brown. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. Clemson has their paws on it, and they'll send out the offense. These two defenses have had their head spinning here in the first half, and now we might even see a little more score. Picked off. And it's going to be a pick six. Touchdown, Gamecocks. What a play by this defense with the pick six. And how about the defender? Exactly what you're supposed to do. Breaks on the football, makes the interception. Everybody on defense, we turn to offense. Go lay some blocks so my guy can get it and take it back to the house. And with the extra point, the score is now 21 to 14. 
They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. And he'll return it and try to get behind his blockers. And they'll get him on the ground as the offense comes out to start the next drive. Clemson ready to dial up some ball plays. They've got it on offense. Well, the good news is they threw a touchdown pass last time. It was just to the wrong team, Jesse. Well, that's an unfortunate part of the game for quarterbacks, but guess what? They do happen, so you've got to be able to turn the page here and lead this offense. Well, I think you know this defense is going to be aggressive. They're going to jump routes. They're going to play aggressive. You've got to take advantage of that. Maybe use that this time to your advantage. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Getting some heat. And the quarterback is knocked down back in the 13. And that is your job. The O-line has to protect the quarterback. That's the most important position on the field. You got to make sure you keep him upright. You got to do a better job. Spits it out to the back. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense. And now it's fourth down. So Clemson is lining up to punt this one away. He'll bring it back. It's Brown. Oh, what a move! This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. Dropping back, it's Sellers. Still moving to his right, trying to make a big play. This sophomore quarterback learning when to use his legs to move the chains. Man, that's so frustrating. And it happens so fast. He just pulls it down. It looks like pass. He pulls it down, and he's gone. Just like that, chewing up yards. So much speed, so hard to stop. Running behind that left side. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. Listen, you've you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. Quick completion on the out route. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. Down to the 12-yard line. It's first down. Keeping it on the ground with the single back. Pickup of one, it's down at the 11. As a quarterback, you've got to know in this area of the field, it's tough to throw, right? The windows, they open and close so quickly when you get down to the red zone. What helps you is running the football, but that's tough today because you're... And full extension down the right side for the grab. Snag in the end zone. Touchdown, South Carolina. I'm going to spread you sideline to sideline with all my speed, make you cover the whole field. Nice job by the offense. Go with a little spread look, taking advantage of the speed they had on the field and getting the big touchdown. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good for a 28-14 lead. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they finish it with an 11-yard touchdown dart. He'll bring it out. It's Brown. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Clemson has their paws on it, and they'll send out the offense. Now we'll get a chance to see if they can answer that last score, trailing by 14, Jesse. Yeah, and at this point in the game, I feel like offensively, you should go back to what's been working for you in this game. Don't be afraid to dial up plays that you've already had success with, running it and throwing it. It's okay to repeat plays down 14 at this point. And I would also say, Palmer, kind of understanding that my defense is not playing great. So I know offensively, I got to put some good possessions together here, make something happen on this side of the field. Well, guess who? They're taking a shot to the guy that's just been torching this defense in the entire first half. He's already got over 100 yards, so why not try to add to it and force this defense to prove that they can cover him? They did do a nice job right there. That's not the last time this guy's going to see the ball thrown his way. Clemson ready to go back to work with another first down. Really nice job on third down by this offense. This offense has struggled on third downs throughout the season, not even in the top 50, but you know what? When you make it third and short, when you have the run pass option, you're not predictable, you can be more successful. So let's see if this offense can continue to put themselves in good positions. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. 
You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered. Here comes the offense on second down. Looking to throw, it's Klubnik. A little screen to the running back. And they knock him down, but he got past the line of the game. Hawk stops momentarily for the first down. They'll hurry to the line. They'll throw it on first down. Feeling some heat. And the quarterback is snowed under. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. He's looking for a man on second down. He'll off one deep down the left side. And the incomplete pass taking a shot on second down, and they'll be left with a third down. This will be the eighth play of the drive, but a great opportunity for the defense to get off the field. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. Timeout called here by the defense. It's the first one they've used this half. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. South Carolina ready to go on the attack in another offensive odyssey. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute them. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. you got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. Trying to get to him. And he will wisely throw it to the kid playing the tuba. Like the job by the defense there in coverage. They took every option away from the quarterback. He was outside of the pocket, nowhere to go with it, so they forced the incompletion throw. Now looking for that first down on third and short from the 26. They'll try to run for it. The Gamecocks pick up the first down. And those, those little chunks keep annoying the crud of you when you're on defense. It's just putting them in easy situations, chewing up four to six yards at a pop like that. Put you in a bad situation as a defensive coordinator. What do I call? Either way, for already number one, you gotta stop the run. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. They'll line up for a second down play. They go to the draw. Sweet cut there. He now has 63 yards rushing, and he gets closer and closer to a 1,500-yard season. The offense uses a timeout to stop the clock, and they'll get a quick breather. They'll throw it on first down. He lets it fly. Snags it inside the 20. And the catch and run into the end zone. Touchdown, Gamecocks. A lot of times you see those receivers, as soon as they get by the DBs, you know, that hand goes straight up in the air. I got him. I got a step on him. He got a step on him, and the ball was thrown perfectly out in front. You can see he runs underneath it, gets it, and gets the long touchdown on the go route. Ready to try the point after. And they split the uprights on the extra point. They're up 35-14. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they closed the deal with a 58-yard touchdown pass. Looks like he's going to try to return it. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Clemson ready to dial up some ball plays. They've got it on offense. This late in the half, you're behind. You'd love to create something before the break to build momentum, Jesse. But you've also had some miscues on offense, a big part of why you're losing the game right now. I'd take it into halftime, make my adjustments, and come out ready in the second half. Yeah, I'm going to take it into halftime too, Paul. But I'm trying to put some points up right here. Be aggressive, set the tone, be like, hey, listen, this is what you're going to get in the second half, so find something really quickly you can go to. And it slips through his fingers, incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have held on. Second and ten after the previous play. On the move, it's Klubnik. He's got him in the flat. Didn't pick up a lot there, moved it forward just a few. The Tigers in the hurry up. Clear. 
There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. They've already punted four times in this game, and they're about to run the guy out there for a fifth time if they don't pick up the first down here. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. Defense has been looking so good on this drive so far. They already set up third and long, and now they take all the throws away down the field. Great job in coverage. Great job reading the QB's eyes. So there's nowhere for him to go with it. He's got to throw it away. to the lead the offense will simply take a knee and that's how we will wrap up the first half we played two quarters here time to go to kevin connors in our halftime update thanks so much guys and i need not tell you rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion and no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. Toughest job inside that stadium right now might just be the scoreboard operator after all those first downs and touchdowns. Big plays have to find this one thanks to two of the best receiving core in all of college football. Let's see if these defenses can adjust and make the necessary chess moves. With that, let's send it back to the guys to see how the battle between South Carolina and Clemson plays out. Thanks for that halftime report, Kevin. And the Gamecocks will kick it away to start the second half. And he hauls it in and everybody's on the edge of their seats. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Clemson has their paws on it and they'll send out the offense. They start this third quarter in a big hole and they have to start climbing out right now. And they're going to have to be really aggressive. It's like this offense, when I'm playing from behind, every possession means so much more. And if you look the other side, the defense, they haven't given much resistance. Yeah, nothing has gone their way in the first half offensively. And you know now, based on how this defense is playing with their confidence, that you are going to be challenged on every single snap. So buckle up, get your mind right, and get ready to come back in this game. Now the play fake. Quickly complete. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here. Already trailing big, and the clock is not their friend. Good timing on the quick out. Well, it's a good decision by the quarterback, and I know you didn't get the first down, but the good news is you got a chunk of yards back, now setting up fourth and short, and giving yourself an opportunity to go for it here and keep this drive going. And the coverage team gets the returner on the ground. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. Line gets set, first down. Out of the gun, the gift to the back. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. Now on first down from the 30. He's gonna pass. Quickly complete. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, and still short of the first down. Now here on second down, see if they keep tossing it around. He leaves it with the back. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. He now has 85 yards on the ground, and he just continues to turn in productive performance after productive performance. That's how you lead the nation in rushing. Going up top on first down. He makes the connection. Oh, big juke to get past. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. 
This is the kind of performance, guys, that sort of etches your name in the lore of a rivalry. And playing big in this big moment, on this big stage, it is so nice to have a playmaker like that that you can highlight, that you can focus on, that you can trust in. He was so excited coming into this game, too, because he knows that oftentimes your legacy as a player is defined by how you play in rivalry games like this. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. You can't let the same guy beat you over and over and over again. You got to make adjustments. Sometimes you got to bring more guys in the box, more guys to the football, and make sure he's not the one who beat you. And he's almost to that first down marker there. See, he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure, but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. Already in chip shot field goal range at the 21, but this third and short, they're still thinking touchdown. Shakes off the tackler. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. The Gamecocks come to the line with a new set of downs. From the red zone, looking for a man. Caught over the middle. It's Caldwell. Can't. White cross the plane to get the six, but they'll have the first down. This offense in scoring position with a fresh set of downs. Looking to throw. After getting knocked back, it's second and goal from the four. Looking for a man. It's Sellers. He's got it. How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing the big hit stick with him, too? Look, you can't take away everything, right? So you give them that and rally and make a solid tackle. Yeah, and a lot of times in zone coverage, I, I like when I can get all the eyes on the quarterback. I like when I can see the routes and see him develop in the middle. And you could tell they had keys on the tight end. He wasn't going anywhere after he caught that football. And the pummeling has started. South Carolina starting to feel a little cocky, and why not as they stretch the lead on Clemson? They're cocky, and they should be the way they're dominating this game on both sides of the ball. They are bringing it to Clemson. And South Carolina's fan base is one of the best in the country, and they are jacked out of their mind right now to be putting it on their in-state rival. Try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. So a drive there of 85 yards, and they finish it off with a short plunge into the end zone. The returner will field it and try to do some business. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Clemson ready to dial up some ball plays. They've got it on offense. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. Takes the handoff. It's Haynes. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. He's looking to throw. Pocket starts to collapse. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. That's another example of just really good football. This is why they built the lead here in the second half. Nice job pressuring the quarterback, making him feel uncomfortable, coming into somebody else's building and keeping it really, really quiet. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. And the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You've got to be able to make that play. 
He'll get it to about the 25 before they put a stop to the return. South Carolina ready to go on the attack in another offensive odyssey. Man, what a drive last time for the touchdown. That passing attack was lethal, David. Yeah, and you know, you hear all these stupid commentators like me and Jesse talking about create balance, you know, run and pass. No, when you throw that good, spin the ball around. So the defense has to find a way to affect the quarterback on this drive because last drive, he had way too much time to throw. Ball is at the 35. It's first and 10. He wants to throw. The quick out. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Leaves it with the running back. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. From the gun, the give, looking for room. And he won't quite get there, but boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first, an array of possibilities here. They'll try to drive ahead on third and short. And the Gamecocks get enough for the first down. So far, everything's just seemed to work for this offense when they've wanted to run the football. Regardless of what down and distance it is, they're able to get it done. Up front, getting a lot of push, and these backs are finding the holes. The give to the tailback. Makes one man miss. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. Got three on first down at second and seven. Looking downfield, it's Sellers. And he was drilled just as he released the pass and take complete. That's what this defense has to do, guys. They've got to knock this quarterback down to the ground. He's already thrown a couple of TDs. The only way you're going to stop that is with good quarterback pressure. And they wanted it all on third down, but now dealing with fourth down. The Gamecocks will line up to punt it away. Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. Ball falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. Clemson has their paws on it, and they'll send out the offense. He wants to start this drive with a pass. Got it in the middle. It's Haynes. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. Trying to get a rhythm in the passing game. Now on second down. Off play action. Fires to the wide out. A strike downfield. And it is a chunk play. A huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. First down here for the offense. That's the end of the quarter, and South Carolina has the lead. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. I guess if you're an optimist, the stage is set for a massive fourth quarter comeback. Finally, some signs of life from this offense, which has done nothing in the second half. It's first and 10. Quickly complete. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. Line getting set on second down. This offense has their work cut out for them, man, because the coverage has been so tight. And if you're not throwing to the sideline or you're not getting past the sticks, this defense is going to tackle you inbounds like they just did on that last play. And the really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. This Clemson offense moving quickly down the field. He'll just keep slinging it. Got it in the middle, it's Brown. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. I'll tell you, this quarterback has just been in a great rhythm all game long. With that last completion, he's now over 300 yards passing. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical in pass deep. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here. With a big lead in the game, you're putting extra DBs on the field, knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover guys on the field, and they force an incompletion on the last one. 
He'll come through on third down. He's got enough, and they'll mark it at the 23. Here comes Clemson with another first down. The back goes in motion. To the air, it's Klubnik. Unloads to the wideout. It's complete. Touchdown, Tigers. And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. Yeah, nice pitch, nice catch. And listen, maybe this helps next game, right? Like, we're trying to find a rhythm, find something that works, find somebody to go to. And this offense is struggling. You're down by a 1,000. But I like that they continue to fight. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined. Average unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. And there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. Runs through the tackle. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chains. Give him 109 yards on the ground and just another day at the office for the national leader in rushing. They'll leave it with the lone back. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. From the gun, they'll try the middle. And they'll bring him down after a short pickup. Now on third down after that run. Now the quarterback changing the original play call. The throw to the outside is complete. He steps out of bounds, but it will be enough for a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. From the gun, the running back has it. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. The give to the back. He has the first and still on his feet. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. From the 44-yard line, the offense snaps it on first down. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and leading the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. Be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. Push down for the tackle. This will be the ninth play of the drive coming up. It's a third and two. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. Makes one man miss. Offenses gain momentum with third down conversions like that. They've got it at the 25. Defense has to be frustrated. The offense keeps matriculating and matriculating and matriculating the ball down the field. Now they're going to throw it. Grabbed over the middle. It's Brown. Got some room. Headed to the goal line. Touchdown, South Carolina. And the route is on. They've extended this lead, guys. But sometimes in a rivalry game, you get down and you fight back that much harder. Man, you've seen crazy comebacks and crazy swings of momentum in rivalry games. You just need that first thing to break your way, Palmer. I think it really comes down to their key playmakers, David. They can come back, but these guys need to take ownership. Now's the time. In this type of game, they have got to step up and start making plays. And the point after is good. Two-yard drive there. He'll bring it out. It's Brown. 
He was hoping for something a little more dynamic than they get him on the ground at the 20. Clemson ready to dial up some ball plays. They've got it on offense. Scanning the field, it's Klubnik. Short throw to the sideline is complete, and he's out of bounds. He'll be short of the first down. Got some of the work done on first down. Let's see what they have on second down. He's looking to throw. And the pass is incomplete, charred loose by the hit. This defense has just been all over this guy all game long. Under pressure, they're finding a way to get to him and affect his rhythm. Of course, they have an interception in this game. That's why they've got a big lead here in the fourth quarter. This guy has never gotten into a rhythm. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. The Tigers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Looking to go up top on first down. Got his man quickly. Good pickup on that play. It'll bring up second and four. Well, and here's the problem offensively. Because you're trailing by so much so late in the game, the defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field, rally to make a tackle, and bleed the clock. It's going to be hard now for this offense to claw their way back in this one. They make the stop, but the sweet throwing catch is plenty to give them a first down. And the Tigers look to keep this drive humming. Use the play fake now to throw. Pressure coming. Gets it out quickly. And I love when my quarterback sees zone and knows exactly where to go with the football. Sees the wide receiver running the drag route, knows when to throw it, pulls the trigger for the easy completion. And the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. Doesn't it always seem like that ball is on the ground for like 30 seconds? You got 17 guys running at it in slow motion. Like, I gotta get the football offense. Very lucky to get that football back. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Fires deep toward the end zone. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. You know, it's one thing to take shots early in a game when the defense may not be expecting it, but at this point, fourth quarter, you're trailing by a lot. They know you're going to do it, and the defense was expecting that one. Great job in the back end. On fourth down, going to the air. We hit the two-minute warning, and this offense is desperate to make something happen and do it in a hurry. Now they'll try to cash in this drive, first and ten from the 50. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. And I'm a fan of this, man. Run the football, eat the clock. We got the lead. This offense has put together a nice day, man. Like, just balance, rhythm, timing, play calling. Everything has worked. That's why they built this lead. They've had a great day today. They'll try to keep this clock moving on the ground. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. That is just demoralizing if you're on defense, right? You're down in the game. It's the fourth quarter. You know you need to get a stop, and you know they're going to run the ball, but you can't do anything about it. And the offense is content with where it is. They'll take a knee. Running out the clock seems to be a mere formality here as they are ready to snap it in victory formation. And they'll take a knee. 
After the stumble earlier this year, a lot of people wrote this team off. People might be searching for spots on the bandwagon again now. Yeah, give this coaching staff a lot of credit too, Reese, because they made a few tweaks and adjustments schematically to their personnel as well, and they've really now seemed to find a nice rhythm. And it's hard to find that early in the season, but the good teams figure out who they are, what they do well, and you could tell they're starting to get in a groove, figure out who does what well and maximize that and accentuate that. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.